The Church of Pentecost has announced it will be taking steps to discourage its members, especially the youth, from taking sensual, sensual pre-wedding photo shoots. The General Secretary of the Church, Apostle Mamaya Kumi, explained these photos demean the holy matrimony and do not speak well of the Christians charged to live holy lives. The Church has observed that many would-be couples abuse the concept of pre-wedding shots uh, and, and noting that some would-be couples go the extreme of touching vital part of each other as if they were already married. He's been explaining this to Daniel Dadze. The church continues to hold in high esteem chastity in marriage and strongly frowns upon premarital social relationship between prospective couples. Mm -hmm. So during the global ministers' meeting last week, mm -hmm. which I attended yesterday, okay. I was tasked to throw more light on modesty and decency to the glory of God. So okay. that's what led to that. And what we are saying is, as Christians, as Paul admonished his son Timothy, flee useful last. Okay. First Corinthians 10, 30 to 33 also tell us whatever we do, whether we eat, drink, whatever we do, we should do it to the ground of the cross. So putting these things together, we thought we should discourage our members from doing things that are sexually suggestive, i.e. the things I enumerated. If you are not married, mm. Sincere apologies. We'll work on that sound and bring you that uh, interview shortly. But let's get on Facebook because we've been talking to you and we've been asking you to share with us your thoughts about what the Church of Pentecost is saying. Some of you have pretty interesting uh, responses for them. But let's go on to Facebook and tell you some of those comments. Nana Saibons who says, Wedding to is alien to Ghanaians. Um, Manyeteko Opata says it's a necessary power. It's so white. Uh, so is white wedding and you've had some four replies there but Nana Yao uh, Pim uh, says okay so everybody is responding to you they're saying you're part of the very few that are smart and then it goes on and on and you even got a marriage proposal there it looks like uh, Nana Yao Pim says uncle say it's plain plain white wedding is not necessary and must be abolished churches are using it to exploit their members and Nanaya is referring to Uncle Ebo White who had also raised uh, given his concern about this about uh, this particular conversation and um, Abi Joanna says remains the white wedding too so you're basically talking about the white wedding and um, Brad Bra Bana says Ghana for Nisiatra Obi Obi Sabi will kill us o over over Sabi will kill us okay you're basically saying that we're learning from people and we seem to be overtaking those that we're learning from. He says, previously pigs were taken at honeymoon and when the couple returned, family and friends will visit to watch the pigs. Now, now they, they say pre-wedding, ding, ding. So unnecessary. Well, big ups to ladies who still support the fact that it has, to, it has been it has been abolished by the Pentecost Church. Well, basically, the Pentecost Church is not abolishing it. They're saying that do not do it. They're admonishing their members not to do it. Bawa Vida says, unless my husband forced me uh, force for one, I'm not going to force for church wedding. Dad and mom bless me. Pastor come home and bless me as I got God blessing. Move to my new family. For you, it's pretty simple. Nikote No Fear says, thank you, uncle. We have lost the focus of the essence. And uh, Mahamadu says, it is needless and waste of resources. Rose Jif Asempa says, still thinking of the message still thinking of the message behind that you say it's pure acting so those are some of your thoughts there you're sharing with us uh, some of those, your thoughts you're sharing with us uh, there on on facebook about pre-wedding uh, photo shoots will you do it will you not do it it's totally up to you